Hi, Gemini's. How are you? Welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie. I hope you're feeling good out there, doing good. Let's take a look at what's going to happen in your love life this week. Um, this isn't just a random. I'm doing a specific target for your love life, and I only picked the signs that I got 10 or more views for. And guess what, Gemini? You made the list, so thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'm going to continue on with readings for you in the future. I um, made some new decks. I got a movie deck to help me figure out what's going on. A little deck of clues. And then I have a really sexual deck that can get a little graphic. Just to see where your person's sexual vibes are this week, Gemini. So let's see what's going on for you this week. I have, I have other things to do. But we're only doing a couple cards from each because this is a quick quickie reading. <laughs> okay. What's going to happen for the Geminis in love this week? This is such a little deck. Got nothing? Nothing for the Geminis. <laughs> Weird. All right. Sexual vibes. What's going on for the Geminis that we need to know? Give us the dirty deeds, right, Spirit? <laughs> I mean, right, Collective? I can and we'll get right into it. What's going to happen for my Geminis this week? My little lovers. Here's a lover's card in the tarot deck. Serious vibes this week. Why so serious, Gemini? <laughs> oh, hello. Get a full spread for this numerology day. It's going to tell us the chunk majority of what's going to happen for you. The rest are just a couple, a couple each. Two more after this. Oh shit. Guess we don't need that card. <laughs> it's like being violent with my cards here. Jim and I might have a turbulent week. I love the permit. Last one, and we'll get into it. Or a violent one, let's hope not. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me move this, and we'll get right into it. So, for the movies, we got Leap Year. You're being brave this week. You're going for it. You're going after the one you want. Might even be the feminine asking the divine masculine to marry them. Because that's what that year is all about. Or that movie is all about. Then we have, what's your number? Reflecting on relationships in a healthy way. Working on yourself and setting personal standards and goals. 
Look at you laying the groundwork and going for it. Then, oddly enough, we got two no's and a yes. <laughs> Maybe you've been denied twice by this person and you're finally getting a yes. Or you had to go through, you might have three options and two of them are wrong for you and one of them is right. We'll see if these, where these stack up if they play out. So, we have, yeah, you're doing a lot of healing this work, this week. A part of healing is laying those foundations, going after what you want, what you feel is best for you, evaluating your um, relationships, the good, the bad, and the ugly, taking a time out from relationships in general and in people. I see you like being a little hermit. Like hiding out this week, sticking to yourself, but also being brave and going after what you want. Working on loving yourself here. You're focusing on yourself, what you need to learn, how you grow from this. You're very creative this week. You might be doing creative projects or projects in general. Um, you're having a lot of compassion for yourself this week, realizing that Maybe you've had a harder life than you realized or recognizing that you need to take time to pamper yourself because you're hurting. You're getting a lot of signs about something, though. I feel like that's why you're on a mission. You're going after things. You're allowing the signs to help you see what you need to do. But, yeah, you got, listen, you got self-love like two or three times here. I think twice. I thought I saw it three. Maybe I did. But self-love, self-love. This is you evaluating mentally what you need to heal within your mind. But this is also healing your heart space. You're loving yourself this week, which is great. Coming home to yourself. You're paying attention to the signs. You're noticing those synchronicities. You're like, okay, spirit, tell me where to go. And you're very heartbroken. You're hurting, so you're you're leaning you're leaning on spirit this week to help you find your way back. You're not feeling whole in your heart. You're not feeling whole within yourself. You're feeling like something is lacking, and this is you recognizing it this week and doing something about it. We have the fish. Like you could be swimming upstream, facing a hard battle, or this is you very much in your feelings, being overwhelmed by your feelings. You have a lot of passion for a lover. I do feel like there's something that you're passionate about or someone you're passionate about. But you're paying attention to the flags. Um, making sure you're not repeating past cycles or past mistakes. And you're really trying to call in the one you really want. It's like you're trying to bring them back down to your level or back to you in general. You're looking at photographs. You're reminiscing about the past. Where did it go wrong? Where did it go right? What did I need to learn? Just evaluating mode, which is great. And Cupid's arrow is going to strike your person that you're calling in. You've been wanting the right one or you've been wanting the relationship to get better. Um, I feel like the passion is coming back for you if you're already in a relationship. If you're not, you could be meeting someone this week. But right, mostly I just see you resting and recovering, like I said, being in hermit mode. Sticking to yourself, um, trying to gain that wisdom from life experience. What did you learn from this? What do you need to know? Where do you go from here? And you're embracing your your own, like you're standing in your power. You're embracing your mistakes and you're also embracing the good parts. This is you embracing times need to change and making a plan we have look to your inner strength you are stronger than you realize yeah you're not feeling very strong but this week is about reminding yourself how strong you are speak the language of love you're not trying to beat yourself up or be mean to yourself you're not trying to fight this week either receive and love receive with love and appreciation so you are going to be receiving something um the relationship you're currently in could be getting better. Um, if you're not in a relationship, you could be meeting someone or just finally really loving and appreciating yourself. Continuous progress towards your empress here. This is like 
very nurturing, empathetic. Maybe somebody you want to have a child with since this lady's pregnant. Maybe you, you're, you could be having a child soon as well. But you're trying to make progress towards this counterpart, divine counterpart or family that you want. I didn't get anything for these no, no, yeses. I feel like this is saying like you've tried and you've tried again and it didn't work out, but this time it will work out. You will get better at treating yourself better and loving yourself and figuring your stuff out. The Divine Feminine, these are the sexual energy decks. They want you to tell them what you want. So if you are the Divine Feminine, you want to tell them what you want. If you're not, the Feminine Energy in your relationship wants you to. <laughs> the Divine Masculine, I mean, do I have to say any more about that? I'm scared of these sexual feelings. So the Divine Feminine or the Feminine Energy is um, very intimidated by how strong these feelings are. And then we have something in the tub this week. Could even be this. Could even be to yourself since you're spending time with yourself. <laughs> hey, you know, you got to make yourself happy. There's no shame in it, people. What are we, six? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope this is a good week for you, Gemini. I just see a lot of spiritual and emotional and physical growth within yourself. And really seeing the bigger picture of where you want your life to go from here. This is like... Like a pit stop on your destination. <laughs> a necessary one and a good healing one with some sexual energy mixed in. You might even be making a baby this week, so I would be careful if you don't want one. The Empress cards come out. That means pregnancy. So I have to throw that out there. Watch out for that if, you, <laughs> if that's not something you want. Or it could be maybe if, if you're trying to have one, try this week. This throwing it out there. If this resonated or if you want more like this in the future readings like this anyway, please smash the like button below. If you're feeling generous, please hit the subscribe button. No pressure though. I just appreciate that you watch. Talk to me in the comments. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next time, Gemini.